Hello, I am Brock Bowen, product specialist with Timbersled. I wanted to take a few minutes and go over one of our most frequently asked about topics, installation kits. While most of you know, Timbersled offers a snow conversion kit for a dirt bike. Installation kits are used to adapt the universal Timbersled system to a dirt bike using a series of model specific parts. Each install kit contains three sets of components. Highlighted in red are subframe spacers. These spacers are used in the main attachment point of the timber sled to the dirt bike. Different sizes of spacers are used to properly align the drive chain. Highlighted in gold, a second set of spacers and fork clamps are used to adapt the front spindle and ski assembly to the front forks. Lastly, highlighted in blue, a strut rod or TSS shock mounts from the dirt bike's upper shock mount on the frame to the timber sled system. There are two styles of installation kits available, a fixed strut and a TSS or short for timber sled suspension strut. Both the fixed strut and the TSS fit kits will have the same subframe, fork clamps, and spindle spacers for a selected dirt bike model, but the difference is in the strut attachment from the bike's upper shock mount to the timber sled kit. The fixed strut is a solid rod, the TSS is an air shock designed to increase comfort and suspension travel. While both the fixed strut and TSS offer some adjustments for length, both styles come preset for the specific bike model. Review Timbersled.com ENUS install kits for facts and more detailed information. Once you have identified what bike and timber sled model you want to convert, fitment tables are used to locate the part number needed for a particular install or details on specific placement of install kit components. For the purpose of this video, we are wanting to locate the installation kit part number and we are going to use the example of a 2022 KTM 450 SXF and a new timber sled Aero 3. To access specific information on the bike and kit you are looking to convert, use the drop down menus to select the appropriate bike manufacturer and timber sled model you are wanting to install. Notice there are two options for each OEM bike manufacturer one for Mountain Horse and Raw, and one for Arrow and Riot models. The difference between these two is how the strut rod attaches to the timber sled. The Mountain Horse and Raw installation kits use a heim joint while the Arrow and Riot installation kits use what we refer to as a trunnion ball. Since we are wanting to find the installation kit for a KTM and an Aero 3, we will select the appropriate drop-down menu to display the fitment table. Once you have the appropriate table loaded, locate year, make, and model of the host bike on the left-hand side of the table. Follow the row across to find the fixed strut or TSS installation kit part number. Notice there is a third option in the install kit columns. For model year 22, we have released the new TSS with QSL or quick switch lockout. This new TSS shock option offers an improved ride with the ability to quickly adjust the compression dampening for varying terrain. You will notice the fixed strut installation kit part number as well as both the TSS and the QSL options listed in the fitment tables. Also note, in this example, there is an asterisk next to 2883370 and 2883371. This asterisk denotes that these are legacy part numbers. These installation kits are compatible with this host bike, but may include a different configuration of spacers when compared to the latest offerings. Continuing to use the above example, I'm wanting to purchase the TSS QSL installation kit part number 288 four seven nine five after locating the part number to purchase simply navigate to the timbersled.com homepage and type the part number in the search box in the upper right hand corner once loaded you can add to cart and purchase accordingly or you can contact your local dealer and purchase from them directly if you are viewing the fitment tables looking for additional information such as spacer placement Continue to follow the row across to the appropriate columns. Note, positions listed are indicated as sitting on the bike. The fitment table lists seven digit part numbers starting with 5-1 for most spacers. 
The spacers included in the installation kits will be stamped with the last five digits of this number. If your installation kit was provided with spacers that have a three digit part number stamped on it, please reference the legacy part number conversion table located under the overview drop down menu to cross reference to the five digit number. If you need to order a replacement spacer, the full seven digit number will be used to order from your local dealer. As you can see, additional information is provided in the table for reference. To fully understand the data provided, I recommend viewing the Fitment Table Overview PDF located under the Overview drop-down menu. This page is designed to help understand and illustrate the different components of what is included in each installation kit and how to use the Fitment Table for various purposes. The subframe columns show placement of the subframe spacers on the timber sled from left to right as you are sitting on the bike. The spindle columns show placement of the spindle spacers as needed to adapt the dirt bike's front axle to the timber sled spindle assembly. The strut reducer columns show spacer placement on the fixed strut or the timber sled TSS. Note, new for 2022, black fixed strut rods use the same upper spacers as the TSS shock. Previous silver fixed strut rods use different size spacers. The part numbers for the legacy strut rod installation kit are highlighted with an asterisk in the fitment table. Please note, Mountain Horse Raw fixed strut kits use two spacers on top and bottom. Arrow and Riot kits only use spacers on the top as the trunnion ball is already configured to properly mount to the Arrow and Riot chassis. For additional strut rod information, view the strut rod details page located under the overview drop down menu. I hope this video has answered your questions regarding timber sled installation kits, but if you have additional questions, reference our website, timbersled.com, or feel free to reach out to our timber sled product pros and we will be happy to help.